Hello friends, very happy Women's Day to all, especially the ladies who continue their medical education in spite of their family responsibilities and different roles they play in their life. So today, in even our team is an all-women's team and we celebrate the Women's Day through dedicating this session to all women. And fortunately, in this session, we are presenting uh, two cases of strong women, but different shades. And that will, you know, uh, will, will be supported by PEM understanding by Dr. Nirupama. I think through these two cases and through exploring this remedy, PEM will become more clear. And it will also become clear how PEM you know, can explain different rubrics and the connection between all these rubrics. So it gives a wholesome image. And un uh, unfortunately, this remedy is not much explored, not much given in Materia Medicas from mind aspect. And people who have prescribed generally have prescribed through rubrics. So we are trying to evolve an image through PEM understanding and detailed study of rubrics with the help of two cases. So, let us start with the journey. Kushala, can you share the screen? So, we will start with the first case. This case is of a lady who is 39 years old. She is quite ambitious. She is working on a good position. And she lives with her husband and a daughter. Her old history, uh, old history, she has suffered from one abortion recently, two years back. So now she is complaining of cervical lymphadenopathy, for which she had been to allopathic doctors. Investigations have been done, but they are non-conclusive. Non Since CBC, ESR, everything is normal. X-ray chest is normal. On sonography, uh, lymphadenopathy is there, thyroid cyst is there. And uh, still it is not conclusive. So she was advised FNAC and patient did not want to go for that pro procedure. That is the reason they came to me. She came with her husband and husband and wife both came with all reports and with a lot of anxiety about what the condition is. So she came with... Uh, questions like what it can be, what is to be done, shall we do FNSE, is it necessary to do FNSE, can we uh, diagnose it without FNSE, lot of questions were there, husband was uh, talking but wife was also supportive, like you can see that both of them are in the same state. So from this I took the rubric, now in this case I am going on giving the rubrics along with the description so that you can understand what is the say of patient and what rubric can come from that say. So from this, I understood that there is anxiety darken and light desire because they wanted to know why she why the lymph uh, nodes are enlarged. And apart from this lymph nodes, she did not have any other complaint like no fever, no loss of appetite, no weakness, though pains were there. So, we will move ahead. So, husband was very anxious because patient had suffered a lot in past during abortion and she had lost a lot of blood. And also, she had uh, been through the phase of grief because of losing the baby because she always wanted a complete family. So, she had that image in her mind that she wants husband, wife and two kids. So, that will complete the family. And because of, you know, uh, different reasons, she had to delay the second pregnancy because uh, she was in the process of settling down. She wanted a house. So she wanted to buy a house first, become financially stable and then conceive second time. So th that took little larger time, longer time. So seven after seven years, she tried for the second pregnancy. And then it, so uh, 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 unfortunately, it ended in abortion. So uh, this in, uh, incidence had a lot of impact on the husband and wife, especially husband also because Husband literally, you know, felt that he will be losing her and then all the responsibility, how he will take care of the daughter, elder daughter and all that. So that thing was there and patient also had suffered a lot after that abortion. And 
now re recently only she started recovering and she started focusing on her health improving her health and started doing uh, exercises and uh, having proper diet and all that so this is one aspect of the case so we also see that there is elements from abortion and then patient also complained of backache, leg pains, lot of restlessness at night because of which she couldn't sleep. And it was again and again. And patient while, you know, when this case was going on, she was again and again touching her neck. As if, you know, she was just palpating her gland. So though she denied anxiety, anxiety was very evident because otherwise why will she touch the gland again and again? So that was very much evident. So uh, from this, I had this observational rubric of affectation. Affectation is a state where patient wants to portray something else than what he is not or what she is not. So they portray a different picture. So that anxiety was there of what it can be. Doctors had suspected Cox. Patient had thought of cancer because lymph nodes are enlarged in cancer. So all those things were going on in their mind. And it was explained to them that it is non-specific, some infective pathology because it has started suddenly. There is tenderness and there is inflammation and mostly viral because there was no bacterial infection features like high fever or something. And even parotid gland was enlarged. So she had like swelling of like a mumps. So that type of parotid swelling was also there. So uh, and now we are going to the patient as a person or patient, patient's disposition. So patient overall is quite perfectionist achiever. She wanted house, she wanted a complete family. Hence she insisted for second child even though she was 38. And she is, from this I can make out like she has a fixed image in her mind that she wants this and this. So from this I took pedant because meaning of pedant is conscientious about trifles and they want what you know the, like uh, they go according to what they desire as per you know their specific con uh, their specific expectations so cross reference for pedant is conscientious about trifles so from this i took pedant rubric though daughter is 7 years old and uh, she had avoided pregnancy this detail i have already given now husband is quite easy going he enjoys traveling but patient stops him because for her priority is daughter study, household, all duties and everything. So she stops him from going for trekking and all that. So and like uh, patient's job is quite high demanding. So she cannot give much attention to her daughter or to the household and husband has relaxed schedule. So she expects that husband should take care of all those things. And during her illness, patient wanted husband as she was not comfortable with others. So she was, you know, she wanted husband to do everything. So from this, we can make out that she is also strict with daughter. And she is quite conscious about her diet and studies. And she will, you know, even if she is tired, she will make food, healthy food for her. So from this, we can make out dictatorial nature of the patient and anxiety about health. So patient... Earlier also used to always complain about backache, weakness, exhaustion. But still, you know, because of her perfectionist nature, she would insist on doing some, you know, personal work for her daughter. So from this, we come to the rubric activity desires alternating with weakness. And for these complaints, I had given her sepia, nakswamika, bambuza, which had given partial response. So now we had to think of some different remedy now putting all these rubrics together which i already described anxiety darken anxiety driving from place to place because she had been to many doctors before coming to me anxiety health about anxiety health about her own light desire for because she wanted to know what is the reason for these complaints and affectation pedant and dictatorial talking with air of command way she was you know commanding her husband to do things then restlessness pain from because she was not able to sleep at night because of the pain. So considering all these rubrics, we come to Ruta. Now we can never think of Ruta in a case of lymphadenopathy if we consider sphere of action. 
but still mind rubrics guided us to ruta. So this is one case. Now we will see another shade of the same remedy through second case. So we are going to the second case. Now this is the case of little elderly lady in her late 50s who came with bilateral plantar fasciitis and calcaneal spurs. Now, as I started her case taking, I asked her about her occupation, which is a very, you know, common preliminaries we ask. So in that, in first two minutes only, she laughed and she said, qualified to be housewife. Thankless job. So from this, you know, I felt it really hit me. And she was appearing quite educated and she is educated. So I felt like it is such an irony, no? So I felt from this, I could make out the rubric wretched. Like in spite of being so educated, she is still doing a thankless job of a housewife. So basically she is well qualified and working on a good, she was working on a good post. But after having kids, she had to leave her job like all women. And then they shifted abroad. And hers was love marriage. So her family is quite educated. Ma Mom is educated. Dad is educated. They are research oriented. Her sister is a doctor. And she met her husband also in the, uh, where she was working. And then she got married to him against her family. Her family had told her Ki, you will you know, have to suffer a lot. Because husband's family was very orthodox. And they were not educated. So there was a big, you know, cultural difference. So still the lady got married. In-laws also had a small house. So because of space constraint, also a lot of issues were there. Patient had to sleep in the kitchen with her husband. Brother-in-law was there who was studying at that time. So he occupied one room and uh, in-laws were in the other room. So she had to, you know, sleep in sari at night so all those you know a lot of uh, orthodox being orthodox a lot of expectations were there from her to finish all the work and go for the job come back and do all the work so there were a lot of issues and patient had a lot of difficulties adjusting to those things but she was never you know she could not back answer though in-laws were very rude and critical she could never back answer because of guilt of love marriage she said i overcompensated by submitting to them. So this overcompensation because of guilt, I took it as anxiety of conscience. Then she, children also had a lot of issues. So patient was always worried about them. Younger one was autistic and elder one also had obesity. So he was struggling with his weight and he was bullied and all that. So there were a lot of issues in for both the children. And they were still, you know, struggling to get settled so patient was quite worried about their settlement from that i took a rubric impatience children about because she was you know thinking when they will settle there is anxiety driving from place to place because for younger son she had to be you know she had to run from pillar to post to psychiatrist to neurolo <coughs> neurologists so anxiety driving from place to place was there Next. Now also the son is in, one son is in, uh, he's still abroad. He's trying to get admission in neuropsychiatry because being autistic, he had that soft corner for that career. And patient and her husband came back with elder son. Just a sec. Because elder son was having a lot of issues adjusting there in the college he had sales job which he was not enjoying and pa parents on both the sides like patient's mother stays with her sister because they are two sisters only so they had to you know uh, share their responsibility and father also uh, her uh, husband's parents also in-laws also have one more son but they don't get along with that daughter-in-law so here also they wanted to take up the responsibility so that is how they decided to come back. So after coming back now here, they are well off in a better house. But in-laws attitude is still like they are still orthodox and demanding that every meal should be freshly prepared by her only. They don't allow the maid or cook to prepare the food. 
So all those issues are still there. Patient is still adjusting with that and she's still, you know, th doing things against her wishes to avoid conflicts. So from this, we come to the rubrics, harmony, desires and actions contradictory to intentions. And still she never poisons her minds of her husband or kids. She said, why do that? No. So she has, again, you know, she is demonstrating that anxiety of conscience. Now she has started doing social work to keep herself busy. But because of foot pain, she is not able to be active. So she does it more, more, you know, she is educating poor children online because she cannot step out. So this is delusion hindered is. And she likes traveling, especially ancient temples, likes to read philosophy because her mother was also in theosophical society. She likes nature. She's quite organized. She likes chatting with friends. So this is a lighter aspect of her. Patient started, uh, patient also suffered from severe IBS for which she tried many doctors and she was scared of taking too many medicines because she used to get a lot of bleeding. And she always, you know, was anxious like she will have to use loo. So she will always be looking out for the loo. So that anxiety was also there. And that time the doctors had said that you are living against your nature. That is why you are suffering so much. And because of this, you know, IBS, she has this fear of taking medicines or fear of being injured by medicines. So again, you know, considering this set of rubrics, wretched, mocking, mocking, I took because she, she just was mocking at herself. Anxiety conscience of humility because in spite of being so educated, she is adjusting with her orthodox parents-in-law. So she is keeping her down. She is doing cooking and whatever, you know, maid's job also to keep them happy and to avoid conflicts. So I took this humility rubric also. Anxiety driving from place to place in case of her pain also and also for the autistic child. Impatience children about his because she wants them to settle down fast. Harmony desire for nature love. Delusion cinder she is because of this heel pain. And desires activity because uh, after coming back also she wants to do some social work. She wants to at least you know do something. So again you know taking all these rubrics together we come to Ruta. So these are the two shades. And if we go to study the keynotes, so keynotes also it gives stiffness and inflexibility, which is mental, emotional and physical. So what is inflexibility? Inflexibility is to do with, for in first case, her expectation of ideal family or ideal life where she wanted a proper house and everything and she wanted her husband to do the things like to uh, educate, uh, take uh, daughter's studies and all that. So her expectations were very rigid. And in second case, she was going on adjusting. So that type of, because of conscience driven, you know, rigidity that was because she, I told her, why don't you keep a maid? Why don't you keep a cook? They will say something for two, three days and then they finally will come around. But then still she was, no, 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 no. It's okay like it is our responsibility no we can't leave them no so that type of thing was there and that is how she continued to adjust for so many years the mind loses flexibility fogginess slowness difficulty understanding gives all sorts of reactions irresolution defensive irritability discontented so now you see two shades which will be described better in PM understanding also and through rubrics also by Kushala. So I think, you know, in this we are just seeing main things which are there are fears, anxieties, panic, restlessness. And we see a lot of, you know, mental dullness and difficulty in comprehending and all that. So I think we should move on to more uh, like better study. So I invite Nirupama to give her PEM understanding of this remedy. Thank you, Anita. <clears throat> and if you see this time, along with Women's Day, there was Mahashivratri, the perfect understanding of fifth subclass where feminine and masculine come together. But what happens? A feminine gets dominated by masculine. 
And that is what we see in your two cases also. So, <clears throat> see, we are here at fifth subclass. So, Ruta is there in the fifth subclass in the Sapindalis family. Uh, in the Sapindalis family, there is a C family in which Ruta comes. Hmm? So, this is fifth subclass, which usually called as school age. What is school age? When you start going out of home. Why are you going out? For the education, for earning or for making your future better. So basically settling down in your life. So here you get a lot of issues about work, future, health in future, money, settling down. So basically if you see the fourth subclass is a water element. Here it's an earth element. And a lot of issues comes around work and the productivity. The row also, if you see, it is again the school age. So that school age gets very, very strong because now you are going out, you are performing. You have to be, there is some target and you have to achieve it. So there is a lot of ambition. Uh, you have to, uh, performance, a lot of performance pressure will be there and you have to achieve. For, uh, so your major focus will be I have to come first. I have to be top. I have to uh, go to a certain position. So they work for that position. Ruti, I see Dr. Shankaran, what he says. See what is the characteristic sensation? Squeezed, broken down, crushed. Squeeze and compress, constrict and squeeze, twist and break, crush, choking, compress in strangling and crushed. See how much is the focus on crush? Your, both the patients, if you see, they are high performance, especially second patient. She was literally crushed with the family responsibility. She was taking everything too hard. Hmm? And what happens when you take it too strongly? Lot of weakness and exhaustion come. You feel drained out. Hmm? And there is a desire for stretching. Like Ruta typically wants to shake the joint. They want to stretch the joints. Hmm? You see those symptoms here. Irupama, you can apply stretching for stretching their potential. Stretching their potential. They are, they are yeah. over stretching to, you know, accommodate so many things. Yeah. That's why typically we see the fibrous joints, you see the eye accommodation issues. See, they overdo and then the difficulties comes. They really stretch very hard. Hmm? So, uh, root TAC where there are all citrus fruits are there, orange, lemon, lime. See how you remove juice from these fruits. Huh? That is what is the sensation patient goes through. So I, I remember my case of PCOS, long stuck case. And the one day she gave me this image ki doctor wo rasna ka kaisa ad hai. Pura energy aisa and you feel exhausted. See, you have removed that uh, with the straw. It has sucked the energy and you feel uh, exhausted. And the, with that image and then all other data also fitted with that I had given root and patient felt better. So as I said, it's fifth subclass where I versus you is there. Others are there now. Patient is going out in the outside world and very conscious about the people around. How I, how I look in the society. How I look in the family. See, that's why this lady went on taking a lot of responsibilities. Hmm? Very, uh, this is the age where super ego develops and a lot of consciousness comes in the picture. And that's why they're very, very sensitive to moral impression. They they go on taking everything very rigidly, very strongly. And that's why the whole fifth subclass, 
you see lot of illnesses related to rigidity lot of ra rheumatoid rheumatoid arthritis the stiffness of joints and wherever there is rigidity comes uh, this uh, most of the remedies of this uh, fifth subclass have that hmm? so what happens here <clears throat> super ego develops moral impressions so going out focus is on going out performing ambition so what happens now feminine is strongly suppressed see fourth subclass is feminine water element but now i have to go out and it has no value let me be masculine let me be perform well and that's why father becomes very important figure in this fifth subclass and the whatever father does like going out earning money uh, working for the settling down everything becomes very important and both the patient if you see have taken that role very strongly the first lady who is extremely ambitious career oriented but she keeps eye on the child whether he is studying or not whether he is eating or not and he is not allowing her husband to be free she is also somehow restraining him for from his own activities and she's controlling him see they feel restrained controlled so that is what she is doing with the husband she is not happy that way uh, losing him free but she feels one should be very active and con they should work hard huh? she wants house she wants work she wants money she wants settling down hmm? and second patient very sarcastically she said na literate housewife hmm? and uh, what she said anita second qualified qualified, qualified to be housewife thankless job thankless see qualified to be a so there is so much importance on qualification and then the thankless job so see feminine see here there is no place for the emotions so what happens you very strongly constrict the emotion and you just present the work part of patient was really doing very hard she I, when i went through this second case i really feel why is she suffering she is doing so much for the family and why is she feeling this is a thank thankless job the whole family is actually she is the vertebral column of the family but still she feels it's a thankless job that is her own feeling her own masculine element is suppressing or crushing the feminine element here so and she also said how... you are living against your nature yes think that, that is so important see that awareness is also there they are their best judge but they criticize themselves that's why many time this web subclass comes very close to lack remedies because whatever they are doing they are very critically analyzing themselves and they are not happy with what they are doing hmm? and in process lot of discipline comes and this discipline brings lot of rigidity they don't allow to do anything creatively here there is no creativity here there are all the rules regulation legal issues you have to follow certain pattern and and that's why the the rigidity come because you have to be in that small frame and there is no place for creativity and the split starts brain versus heart see now heart has no place it's only brain cognition logic reasoning so that becomes the focus so as i said see this picture also if you see the shiva shiva and shakti actually we have both the elements masculine and feminine in us and the, it is in balance but when when you suppress one element and you show other element there will becomes the imbalance huh? so what happens emotions are strongly suppressed and brain is strongly expressed through cognition and logic moral values becomes very strong here lot of focus on work and the responsibilities they take responsibilities very very strongly very seriously they go on 
taking all the responsibilities. But what happens? Because you are taking it too tightly, you develop a lot of weakness, exhaustion and the rigidity of the body. Basically, physical rigidity also comes along with the mental uh, problem. And Ruta, specifically in Rutiaceae family, if you see Ruta has the cancer myelgum. Again, cancer brings a lot of control, especially control over your emotions. So how rigid it is now, you see fifth, rigidity of fifth subclass, rigidity of school age, and now rigidity of cancer myelgum. It gets so rigid and inflexible. Hmm? So they work intensively under rules, regulation and because of which they overstrain themselves and in the process develops the stretching disorders like tenderness affection, fibrous tissue affections, extremely ambitious, hardworking, lot of focus on achievements and because it's too much on the work, 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 emotional dryness happens. They're hardly able to express anything emotionally. But they can talk a lot about their work. Hmm? So, Ruta basically given in the inflexible disorders like bony injuries, deep. Somewhere they have that deep feeling of injury, restricted feeling. Hmm? They are really bone-like people, very strong. They have a lot of tough strength, but they are not happy. Even eye affection, if you see, there is a lot of, they have uh, apt for fine work. They look in the fine things and they try to accommodate a lot. But what happens in process, they develop the accommodation issues, a lot of myopia and hypermetropia. And of course, they have lots and lots of type of cancers, especially cancer colon. And lower bobble cancers are there where the presentation is more of a constipation. What is constipation again? You are not expressing your emotions. You are holding on something and not giving. See, the water is not flowing here. Here, there is a lot of earth element which is constricting you and keeping you on the ground. So, this is what is my understanding of. Uh, school age and fifth subclass specifically this lot of focus on masculine element performance and there is no place for emotions they sub they know there are emotions but they suppress it tightly and the only expression is of work 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 that is how uh, i felt ki it's a good time to share the fifth subclass because we, uh, Monday we celebrated Mahashivratri with Women's Day and now we are all here. So over to you, Kushala. Yes. Uh, share the Ruta with uh, rubric understanding. Yes. So hello, friends. So far, we always thought that Ruta, we have always used it as a remedy for injury, sprain, strains, flexor tendons are affected, joints, ligaments, cartilage, periosteum, for eyes, female rectum. I mean, we have used it so many times. But now when we study Ruta in depth, as Dr. Anita and Nirupama gave a different angle of PM that how you can look into the more um, uh, deeper aspect of Ruta, we see that in Ruta, there are a lot of ailments. See, they are responsible. So there is ailments from responsibility because they are in the evolved column of column five. But also they exert themselves a lot because of their sense of responsibility. So you'll see mental exertion ailments from aggravates. But at the same time, because of their responsibility, because of their exertion and the masculine factor, they cannot tolerate any contradiction. So you see contradiction ailments from aggravates. You see anger ailments from aggravates. But not only are they in the evolved column, but being in the stage of development of school age, which is still a little 
earlier stage of development that is after childhood and the school age where you're still young so you cannot really handle so much it's too much for you so you will see a lot of ailments from anxiety a lot of ailments from fear fright okay and there is a strong feeling of betrayal which is there in ruta so you'll see betrayal ailments from so you will see there are lots and lots of rubrics of anxiety the ruta is full of anxiety the anxiety is so much that it drives him from place to place the anxiety prevents breathing anxiety is with fear and you'll see in lot of ruta there are concomitants of pain like anxiety from stitching in chest anxiety with pain in the back and also with pain in abdomen so you'll see a lot of pain rubrics which are come as a concomitant with most of the mental symptoms and anxiety from doubt about success because they are performers as dr nirupama and dr anita have already explained that they are performers for them it's a work they are in column 5 it's a work which is important the performance is important but then they are still not having that strength the masculine element of going out into the world has come in but you are still early stage so you don't have that much strength in you so that's why you have that anxiety whether you will succeed or not so there's anxiety from doubt about success anxiety about health anxiety about future you're going out into the world you're fully anxious you're thinking about what will happen next and you'll see multiple fear symptoms fear of death in heart complaints so you'll see there is a lot of concomitants like fear of being injured see it's an injury remedy so naturally fear of being injured of being hurt the fear a lot of impending diseases fear of tuberculosis is a straight rubric there is fear of cancer brain tumor and the fear is so much that it goes into panic attacks overpowering and it's with a concomitant in a warm room this is very very special of ruta that in house in room there is this concomitant which is there in many many of the states of ruta fear something terrible is going to happen fear of an impending uh, incurable disease fear in narrow place this talks about the rigidity that you know you are feeling so restricted so rigid that the fear in narrow place comes and as explained that you know this is this columns why along with school age of development so naturally the super ego is high the moral values are high in a school age you go to out into the world you cannot be sitting and dancing in a classroom you have to sit in a chair so there are certain disciplines certain morals which have to be followed so you will see lot of conscience rubrics in it anxiety of conscience as if he has done something major there's a strong feeling of guilt inside this talks about the morality in this stage of development delusion arrested caught about to be delusion he had committed a crime delusion he is a criminal delusion about criminals he has done wrong this talks about the level of super ego the level of conscience the level of morality and ruta has a very strong rubric of delusion deceived he is as if somebody is deceiving him you'll see a lot of split the split as explained by dr nirupama the shiv is shiv and shakti it's a male and female which is you know now the masculine element of column 5 is going out into the world so the feminine aspect of column 4 has to now slowly it is getting into a suppressed state because the masculine element is emerging more strongly but you are still in the school age you are not totally suppressed you have not come into the balance of shiv and shakti it's still in an imbalance way where the masculine is emerging and the feminine is getting uh, suppressed so there is this uh, delusion encircled tightly being this talks about the rigidity the restriction delusion he is hindered he feels restricted now he is feeling hindered now he is feeling you know totally as if he is uh, rigid he can't move so you will see a lot of rubrics where on one side you will have rigidity this talks about the masculine element where you know you're rigid things are not moving now you have to be in a certain way 
change aversion to your pedant, your pertinacity means whatever you stick to, you stick to in a very gluey way, you will not receive suggestions. So these are some of the masculine element rubrics. And the other side, you see adaptability, the feminine aspect. So some of these rubrics will talk about where Ruta has got both these elements. On one side, if there is contradiction, disposition to the other side, you'll see the feminine humility. humility. On one side, if there is defiance, on the other side, you'll see harmony, desire for. It's the feminine who wants to accommodate and it's the masculine who wants to stand up and, you know, empower or move ahead or go out into the world and define himself. On one side, if you see detached because you cannot, a masculine is more of a logical thinker. On the other side is a feminine affectionate. On one side, you see indifference, apathy. On the other side, you see the softer side of help others wants to. One side, you see quarrelsome scolding. The other is cheerful, vivacious. One side, you see abusive. They're censorious. And the other side, you see loquacity, cheerful, exuberant. There in the masculine is activity, a, pro a provider, a person who goes out and performs. On the other side, you see indolence, aversion to work, sitting while. You see discontented, you see joy. So you see there are, it's a total, there is a total split. You see both the elements. And that talks about the split of the masculine and the feminine, that both these elements are there in them. Impatience, children about us. On the other side, you see, there is music desire for, because they want that harmony. They, they want that the family should be together. If you see irritability towards own, his children, uh, the other side, you'll see joy, mirth, jesting. And you see company aversion to friends of intimate. Ruta is not very much fond of having company. On the other side, you'll see they want light. They want light desire for sunlight to be in. They want to be fresh. They want to move out. They want the light. If you see violent at trifles, the other side, you see nature loves. So a lot of contradictory or split elements. This talks about the split of the masculine and the feminine, which is there in them. There's a lot of intellectual rubrics which are there. And these intellectual rubrics which you will see are there associated with many, many features of um, where you'll see this talks about their rigid state, where they cannot, they are not flowing, they are stagnating. So concentration, difficult, studying, reading, while dullness, could not think of a condition, thoughts, stagnation of. Confusion of mind chill during because your, your intellectual faculty is also not moving. It's getting restricted. It's stagnating. You, you're getting rigid. Confusion of mind uh, cannot describe complaints properly. Confidence, lack of confidence, indecision, irresolute, mathematics, calculating, inept form, ideas, deficiency of. This talks about a stagnation and a rigidity of the thought process. You'll see equal amount of prostration because you have exerted yourself so much in life. You have overdone. You have mentally exerted yourself. You've physically exerted yourself. So you see a lot of prostration of mind exertion from and weariness of life. So usually in clinics, how would you see Aruta presenting? Aruta, since he, you know, he is, he usually doesn't, he will, you know, try to hide his fears. He'll try to hide his anxiety. So he will show as if nothing is wrong with him. But you could make out by his gestures that he is fearful or he is anxious. That talks about the false th image that he is giving to you just to portray that nothing is wrong. So this is affectation. Affectation in words. Anxiety in dark, they're so anxious within that they want to know what's wrong with them. And they go from doctors to doctors to find out what is wrong with their health. So you see anxiety in dark, anxiety driving from place to place, anxiety health about own health. They want to know whether things will, you know, they will get well or not, or whether whatever venture they take up, whether they will be able to perform in that 
or whether success will come to them in whatever venture they take up. So anxiety from doubt about success, fear arrested of being. This again talks about the morality. Fear he will not recover. It talks that inside though it's an evolved column, but being in an early stage of development, you still do not have the strength. You're still full of anxieties and fear because had you been lower down the column or had you been much more where the masculine element was totally strongly overpowering you, then you wouldn't be coming up with so much anxieties and fears. You will see fear of being injured. You will see fear of impending disease incurable of being. There's so much. He feels so restricted. He feels that, you know, I want to, I want to do so many things. You know what she said, I am a qualified, I'm qualified to be a housewife. You know, it's a thankless job. What the doctor told her that you are going against your nature. So she wants to do things. She wants to go forward. She is a qualified lady from a very well qualified background. And yet she has to sit at home. So what she does, she online, she teaches underprivileged children. So it's like you want to go forward, but circumstances are pushing you back. So it's like you're hindered. Delusion, he's hindered. Delusion is about to be arrested. Business incapacity for, you want to do so many things, but life or circumstances do, doesn't permit you. Dress desire for, this talks about where, you know, you are affected, your joints, ligaments, everything is so badly affected that you, for you, it's like you want some peace. So rest desire for, bed remain in desire to be. And restlessness is one of the most important concomitants, which you'll find in many of the mental states of uh, Ruta, along with the pain, the abdominal complaints, also along with that room aggravates. Restlessness, anxious. Restlessness drives one from place to place. Restlessness during pain. There is light desire. For they want to know. They're so much in despair with their pain. They're so much fearful with what is the disease within them. They're so much in despair of their recovery. They're so anxious for their health that they want to know. So they come to you. Like Anita's first case came to her to, you know, give her them light, give what's wrong. You give us some direction as to what is to be done. So light desire for. There are many other rubrics. Ruta is full of rubrics. So you can imagine how deep acting the remedy is and how much we need to study about it more. They're full of anger rubrics. In females also, there is delirium abortion for. There are a lot of female symptoms in Ruta. There is prolapse. There is disposed things, change in occupation. See, they are stuck. They are stagnating. They are restricted. They are hindered. And they want to move forward. So this is where the rubric explains that they want to leave things behind. They want to dispose things and they want to move forward. Chill symptoms. This talks about the dullness. This talks about their stagnation, their rigidity. And a very, very important aggravating factor in many, many states is the house room in aggravates. You'll find it in many, many, many symptoms of Ruta. So this was uh, me trying to explain some of the rubrics of Ruta, giving an angle of PM as well as trying to connect it with the case. So, so you're actually through this study, we are trying to demonstrate that, you know, you can't find Ruta and responsibility rubric, duty rubrics, business rubrics, except for the doubt, doubtful anxiety about uh, success about. So, or business incapacity. But from PEM point of view, we can understand that there are all these angles. Also, you know, a lot of uh, guilt is there, but we don't see, you know, in the rubrics, it is reflected so well. Though there are rubrics of anxiety, conscience, criminal being and all that. Uh, so, and morality also. It is not there in sensitive to moral impressions. Though it is there in anxiety, conscience about so, through integrated study of PEM, rubrics, materia medica and clinical cases, we get the holistic understanding of a particular remedy, especially which is not very well explored. 
one thing is that and second thing is always think of trauma which is not only physical but emotional also secondly in ruta lot of abortion rubrics because abortion is something you know the project which is not completed productivity which has not uh, you know not reached its you know proper result so that again talks about the performance about their importance to the project so abortion rubrics also imply that now generally we don't think that way and also abortion is common because femininity is suppressed so where wherever imbalance between feminine and masculine there will be lot of menstrual issues dot lot of issues with reproduction or creativity basically lot of pcos we see in yes this case. so lot of you know infertility cases lot of pcod cases and lot of abortion cases are there so this holistic understanding even kushala has explored very well nirupama has explored very well so we should try to explore this remedy explore any remedy to this depth to get the holistic understanding otherwise we can definitely describe uh, we can de definitely prescribe on rubrics without understanding this depth but when we understanding understand to this depth our confidence is much better and we can exploit the full potential of the remedy you want to add anything no when i when i give uh, ruta for pcos i had given with the squeezed feeling and little bit here and there but when i was doing study for this i really understood it very well and in quite depth so integrated approach always helps us to understand things more in detail and gives lot of confidence just imagine for prostration and this squeezed feeling only i was giving first case so many remedies of prostration i gave mm. her bamuza also i gave her sepia and nakswamika because she was quite ambitious and perfectionist and even nakswamika has so much of prostration with delusion poor and rest desire and all that mm. so but if you know when you get at a particular point you get a clarity about the totality and then you can correlate retrospectively with each and everything and then your confidence on the remedy is so well so guys do watch subscribe share give us feedbacks on youtube we will definitely appreciate it and it will definitely motivate us to give you more and more of our experiential learning thank you so much thank you